One of the 13 principles of faith is that we have to believe that the Mashiach can come at any given day. Now this is not just a belief, a principle of faith, just for you to have the faith that he will uh, come, but also it's something that's important for a person to live their life in such a fashion where because they know that the Mashiach can come at any given moment, therefore they don't waste any time and they do tshuva for as many things as they could possibly do tshuva for today. And that's in essence what our responsibility is for. You don't have to uh, be afraid of the things you didn't have a chance to do tshuva for. You have to be afraid about the things that you did have a chance to do tshuva and still have a chance to do tshuva and you refuse to do so. So for example, if somebody is still wasting seed or desecrating Shabbat or eating non-kosher or stealing in their business or being unethical or whatever it is that you could do tshuva for tomorrow that you could do tshuva for today that you could have done tshuva for, for yesterday if you choose not to then obviously you're not afraid enough because if you were truly afraid you would already do tshuva for now if you're in a situation where there's something that you have to do tshuva for you haven't done it yet you haven't completed it yet you're just learning about it now you're just getting to it now that you're okay why because at least you have the desire to do tshuva and go in the right direction and do the best that you can with what you have but if it's something that's within your control and you choose, simply choose not to then you have a very serious problem and that's actually one of the things that a person needs to know that brings a person to the unforgivable sin there's one sin that God himself says I will not forgive you for this this is the worst sin you could possibly make I will not forgive you for this sin which one it is now, of course some people would say oh it's Chilul Shabbat some people will say oh it's wasting seed or it's healing or it's idolatry or it's this or it's that and you'd all be right that these are horrible sins, but you can do tshuva for all of those sins. You can fix those sins. Hashem will forgive you for that sin. But there is one sin that HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I will not forgive for that sin. And it's literally horrifying when you understand it because you understand how many people are committing this sin, both in the secular world and unfortunately even in the frum world. There are certain people that are committing this sin. And that sin is, the Torah says, Shalom Yeli. Everything will be good with me. I'll stay the way that I am. I'll do things the way that I understand. I'm not going to do tshuva. When a person decides they're not going to do tshuva, they're just going to stay that the way that they are. Simply, they are putting themselves in a situation where HaKadosh Baruch Hu outright has a verse in the Torah that says, I will never forgive this person. I gave you an opportunity to do tshuva. You lived in this world for an X amount of years. I gave you an X amount of money. I gave you the spouse and the kids and the job and the fame and the fortune and the ups and the downs and the sickness and the health and all the tests and all of the different surprises and the miracles. I gave you a whole life full of all of these things. I gave you the truth in a silver platter, in a USB, on YouTube for free, on the Bezrat Hashem app, on the... Why did you do tshuva? Oh, I was uh, busy. Oh, I was this. Ah. Hashem says, I will never forgive you. What does it mean I'll never forgive that person? That person goes to Gehenom and never comes out. That, that's how bad it is. And unfortunately, well, the reason why I said that there are some people that are in the secular world and some people that are in the frum world that are in that position is because just because you're frum for, let's say, going to synagogue, observing Shabbat and kosher doesn't necessarily mean that you don't need to do tshuva for something significant. Something significant like stealing in your business, something significant like your lack of yilat shamayim, and other things, or making fun of a rabbi, going against the Torah in different ways. So there are certain people, unfortunately, today that are, for all intents and purposes, as far as what it looks like on the exterior, they're from, they're religious, but in reality, in the eyes of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, they're people that are in a position where they're committing the unforgivable sin. And until they do tshuva, they're putting themselves in a situation where they're going to go to Gainom forever. So this is something that's scary and scarier than anything else you could imagine. So if you are in a position right now to do tshuva for something, do it as soon as possible. Try your best. Try your best. And even if you fail, at least you're trying. You're going in the right direction. Never say, I'm not doing tshuva for this. I'm not going to repent for this. I'm not going to fix this. I'm just going to be this way. Constantly fix yourself. If you're an angry person, fix yourself. Okay, you failed again. You yelled at your husband again. You yelled at your, your wife again. Your employees again. You made fun of them. You embarrassed them. Okay, do tshuva. Say, I'm sorry. Start again. Oh, you stole again. Okay, give it back. Do tshuva. Oh, you did this again. Do tshuva. Fix yourself. Fix the arrogance. Fix the uh, anger. Fix the stinginess. Fix the lashonara. Try to fix it. Try to do tshuva and you'll be surprised how much strength you have 
uh, to overcome these things once you want to do it.